Hat, sunglasses, Pepsi, notes, sources, thick skin, check. You already know. Let's go. Welcome to the college football YouTube channel known as Golden Blue Dude. Please hit the like and subscribe button if that's what you're into. And everybody, sing gear to represent your team in my background forever. Check it out. That's all my background is made of. Send your gear to P.O. Box 360, Liberty, South Carolina, 29650. We all know that the state of Texas is a recruiting hotbed. And so it stands to reason that whatever conference owns the best brands in the state of Texas might have a leg up on the other conferences as far as being able to make some money because those universities in the state of Texas, they can get that talent. All the teams outside the state of Texas, they have to work harder than the universities in the state of Texas to get that talent. And you know, the Big 12 used to absolutely dominate and control the state of Texas. Remember, at one time, they did have Texas and Texas A&M in the Big 12 at the same time. The SEC, of course, came and stole Texas A&M and later on this past year texas announced they're also leaving for the sec for the time being for at least one or two more years texas will be in the big 12 but texas is going to be in the sec so texas has been kind of a battleground for conference realignment and honestly i don't think that's going to stop anytime soon i think the battle for texas or the war for texas will continue and the big 12 is going to have to fend off some other conferences to keep the teams that they have in the state of texas i'm talking about houston tcu baylor and texas tech they're going to have to fight off some other conferences not named the sec for some of those bigger brands and who knows, the SEC might get the itch again and want to grab some more teams from the state of Texas, so they might actually have to worry about the SEC in the future. But right now, the Big 12 will have Houston, does have TCU, Baylor, and Texas Tech. There are some other teams in the state of Texas that might fall into this battleground as well. Remember, the state of Texas also has SMU, UTSA, North Texas, Rice, UTEP, and Texas State. Now, those are lower brands, but still, you never know, they might be able to build up their brand name and become a valuable commodity in the future. But the big names that the Big 12 needs to watch out for as far as possibly getting picked out of the Big 12 would be Houston, TCU, Baylor, and Texas Tech. And I think their main threat is going to be the ACC. I think the ACC does figure out how to renegotiate that TV deal. And even if they do lose some of their bigger brands, they might be able to replace some of those bigger brands with some of these teams out of the state of Texas. I think the ACC would be most interested in Houston, Baylor, and TCU. In fact, I think those three teams would be a great addition to the ACC. The biggest pushback that I get on this is, well, the ACC, they're not interested in the state of Texas. Are you sure about that? I mean, we're talking about the state of Texas here. If you're saying that, then, then I don't think that you 100% believe what you're saying because those are still valuable brands and it would help the ACC tremendously. Why would the ACC not want those teams? Especially if they lose a Clemson, a North Carolina, a Virginia, and a Florida State. Those would be great brands to replace them. And yes, I know I've already talked about how the ACC is interested in Oklahoma State and West Virginia as well, possibly Cincinnati. But today I'm focusing on the state of Texas. And if the ACC isn't interested in Houston, the TCU, and the Baylor of the Big 12, then they're absolutely nuts because those would be great additions and it would give them a solid footprint in the state of Texas and that's what it's all about but go to blue dude you didn't mention Texas Tech to the ACC well that's because I think Texas Tech would actually fall under what the Pac-12 wants remember Texas Tech is a tier one research facility that would give the Pac-12 a footprint in the state of Texas and I mentioned yesterday how rice fits perfectly in the Pac-12 as well whenever it comes to academics that's another Texas school. So I think it would be a brilliant move if the Pac-12 were to try to go after Texas Tech and Rice out of the state of Texas. Now yesterday I also mentioned that they should also go after Fresno State, San Diego State, and maybe Boise State. But on top of that, Texas Tech and Rice would be home run additions for the Pac-12. Once we get below those names, then we talk about a battle between the group of five conferences. SMU is in the AAC, UTSA is headed to the AAC, UTEP's in Conference USA, and Texas State's in the Sun Belt. Honestly, I think the Sun Belt is trying to make a play to where they are the best group of five conference. And some would argue that right now they are barely a little bit ahead of the AAC because the AAC is losing Cincinnati, UCF, and Houston. 
Yes, they're gaining a lot of these other brands from Conference USA, but if you look at what the Sunbelt has, Sunbelt's at least pretty close, if not maybe a little bit better than the AAC. So is it really a stretch of imagination if the Sunbelt were to go after, say, SMU, UTSA, and North Texas to add with their Texas state footprint in the state of Texas? I don't think so. I think that actually could be in the plans of the Sun Belt in the future. They want to be the head honcho whenever it comes to a group of five conference. Best way to do that? Go after some Texas teams. If you get those teams out of the AAC, you hurt the AAC tremendously and you help yourself tremendously and there would be no doubt, no question about it, the Sun Belt would most definitely be the best group of five conference without a doubt no debate at all so no i don't think that the battle for or the war for whatever phrase you want to use for it, the state of texas is over by any stretch of the imagination i think there's going to be a power five battle or war in the state of texas pac 12 could go after texas tech and rice acc could go after houston tcu and baylor and then you have the group of five battle in the state of texas i do think that the Sun Belt could try to go after SMU, UTSA, and North Texas. Remember, they already have Texas State. That would add a bigger footprint in the state of Texas. So for the Sun Belt, it wouldn't be a new frontier. They already have a brand in the state of Texas. They would just be adding what they already have in the state of Texas. And then there's UTEP and Conference USA. Maybe the Sun Belt goes after UTEP from Conference USA, or maybe it's the AAC trying to make up for the losses of SMU, UTSA, and North Texas. A lot of this stuff just depends on who makes the first move. That's what a lot of these conference realignment videos are really about. Who's going to make the first move? Then what happens after that depends on who has made that first move. That's what everybody's trying to figure out is who's going to make the first move. Then we kind of know what's going to happen after that because there's all sort of different scenarios based on who makes the first move. Different scenarios happen if this conference makes the first move, another scenario if this conference makes the first move, and so on and so forth. So really it's just a wait and see. I do think a conference is going to make a move on the state of Texas. The question is who's going to make the first move is it going to be the ACC, the Pac-12, or maybe even the Sun Belt to strengthen their conference as a group of five conference? Y'all let me know in the comments section, where do you think these Texas teams ultimately end up? Because personally, I don't think it stays as is. I do think that there will be some big changes in the state of Texas. So I want to get your thoughts about that. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.